Here it is, the show. I fossil show is through gate three. Here's the entrance, just behind the amphitheater. Two food trucks and special event center. Here's the first booth coming in. Pretty decent sized show. Check it out. Bunch of these displays set up and personal collections. Name in the collector. Yeah. We got three dollars each for a pretty big church key. Two for five there. Some fish fossils. Here's a nice collection of petrified wood. A whole lot of natural gemstones so far. This table's got a few tiny ones. Some nice tourmaline. This stuff's neat. Same megalodon shark teeth, forty dollars each, two for fifty. Smaller ones for thirty-five each. Ones in disrepair for ten dollars each. Partials. Here's a good deal, two dollars each. Some was on two things, not too bad for two bucks. Almost complete. <clears throat> Here's complete Megalodon teeth. Since the price is considerably more, 200 for that one, 200 for that one, 100 for that one right there. So very intact. Yeah, the price for You'll find these in the Peace River. I'm so serious I dropped the phone. Michael Gessel, my number two on call. Facebook is a reference. Shark's teeth are ever done. Elephant test is pretty neat. Almost everybody has shark teeth here. All microdons too. It's a real nice pyrite quartz piece. It's a really cool piece of graphite. Lots of scoop. And a window for $35. Yeah, yeah. Chunks of green in here, those are fantastic. $50 for that one, $35 for that one, $25. The little guy's only eight. Nice chunk of copper, $70. This is cool, this little set is only $10, cut in half. That's neat. There's some neat Civil War stuff. Some bullets. The idea when it's all sealed, it's going to get a lot of glass and bottles and buttons. And small little knickknack things. Some of those glasses. Pretty old looking. Not perfect, so it tends to leave it's probably pre 1902. Little glass pieces here. Little tiny glass bottles there. And a little bison for $20. So if you see anything here you like, it's only $2. It's kind of neat rock, and what it is. This one side of price of $20 on there for two bucks. This was neat. Sensor, chair. 
Okay. This is uh, optical quartz from Brazil. Okay. This is a limb cast of a, a tree, and it's from uh, Crooked River in Paulina County, uh, Nevada. Okay. This is flame agate from India. Okay. And this is carnelian agate from, uh, I think it's from Wyoming. It's from out the northwest. Here's what makes agate so cool when you light them up, you get this effect. So this is what agate looks like when you cut it real thin in slabs. It's great if you have a, a light you can shine it. So when you look at it with a light, it makes some really cool designs. Cut it just thin enough to get that. That's an agate. There's some more agate there. There's some more uh, agate. You get some really neat stuff. You should get something like that in there. Really cool piece of malachite. There you have it. It's a little show, quaint show. Lots of fossils. If you're into sharks' teeth, it's great. Uh, a lot of stuff for kids. Uh, free things for kids 12 and under. A lot of vendors are really kid friendly, so that's great. And uh, yeah, so come check it out. And like I lent to end all my videos with the most simple message ever that uh, whether these rocks and fossils are millions of years old or thousands of years old depends on your worldview. And obviously, if you've been following my channel, you know I'm a Christ follower. And that means that they can only be a few thousand years old, according to lineage in Matthew. So, whatever, we don't have to disagree on that. But basically, my worldview is that death didn't enter the world until sin. And that started with Adam and Eve. And because of that, we're all in rebellion against God. From the beginning, God made a way for us to be restored by sending His Son, Jesus, to live a sinless life die a gruesome death, shedding his blood for all those who repent and put their faith in him. Three days later, rose from the dead, proving to the whole world that he's the King of kings and Lord of Lords, the Messiah. 
the anointed one. And if you look at the world religions and all the people and all the problems people have with Jesus, is they deny his deity that he was truly God. And that's ultimately what it comes down to, friends, is if you believe in Jesus as the, your Lord and Savior, your sins will be forgiven and you'll be granted everlasting life when you perish from this earth. So I would ask you to come like childlike faith, bend the knee, bow, submit yourself to the Lordship of Jesus. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. So repent, that means turn from your sins and trust fully in what Christ did for you on the cross. We all know he died, we all know he came and lived, but put your faith in him. If that happens, the Bible says you'll be born again. If any man or woman be in Christ, they're a new creature, old things are passed away, behold, all things become new. When that happens, there's an exchange. We exchange our filthiness for Christ's righteousness. And when that happens, God doesn't see our sin and our imperfections, but he sees the righteousness of Christ through us. When that happens, you'll be a new child of God. You'll be born again by the Spirit of God to live to bring him glory. And if you think that's for you, great, awesome. And if you're not sure if that took or if that really happened, you'll know. You'll stop doing the things you used to do that you know are sin. You'll repent more. You'll want to join a, a good Bible-believing church. You'll want to be around other believers. And you'll have a hunger and a thirst for Christ's righteousness. That's how you know. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more great content. God bless you.